when you've been given a first term, like the way it is here, you must be thinking this way, okay? We know that this is a cone, and the cone has been cut right here. So this is how the original cone was, and this is where it has been cut. And the part that has been cut is this one here, the one I've put here, okay? In other ways, uh, when you have a first term, try to think you have a full cone like this, the finished cone, okay? And also identify the part that has been cut, which is right here. This is where it has been cut. So from here to here, it's a 20. Like from here to here, this part, this part here, it's uh, over here. And uh, this other part is right here. So the, the base of the cone that has been cut or the top part that has been cut is see, right here. So now here we have, give, we have been given the diameter, which is 42 centimeters. We need to find the radius. So we just divide this by two, we get our radius. This also by two, we get our radius. So now our duty will be to find the value of x. So how do we find the value of x? Uh, we will say the height of uh, the finished cone, this cone from here to here, will be x plus 20, okay? So this is the height, x plus 20. Like from here to here, we have from here to here 20, and here to here it's x. So add these two. And the height of uh, the cone, the part that has been cut off is what? Eh? It's x. Like from here to here, it's x. So it's the over x is equal to, now we go to the radius. So the radius of uh, the bigger cone is what? Eh? Uh, sorry, is 20. 21 over the radius over the smaller cone, which is a 7. So now you can solve, you cross multiply, you have uh, x by 21 is 21 x, which is equal to 7 multiplied by x plus 20. So here the idea is just to cross multiply. This by this is what we have here. This by this is what we have over here. So we're getting 21. This side is equal to 7x plus 140. So 7 times uh, 20 is 140. 7 times x is 7x. The next thing will just be to group the like terms. So we're getting uh, this. This is what we're getting. Finally, we'll get uh, 140. I mean, 14x is equal to 140 right here. To solve for x, divide by 14, divide by 14. Our x will be equal to what? To 10. So our x will be equal to 10. So meaning the height here or the value of x is 10 and the value of x here is also 10. So the height of this cone from here to here is what? Is uh, 30. So this is the height. It's 30. From here to here is 30 and from here to here is 10. Since we've gotten that, we can now use the formula for finding volume of uh, a first term. So the formula will look like this. Volume is equal to pi over 3 capital R squared H multiplied by H minus small letter R multiplied by small letter H. Like that. So our pi is 3.142 over 3, and our capital R is 21. So you say 21 squared times our capital H, height of the bigger cone is 30, this 30. So 20 plus 10 is 30. Minus uh, R from the smaller cone is uh, 7 squared times 10, which is the height, just like that. And then you do the calculations. What are you getting? We're getting uh, 3.142 over 3. And here, when we punch what we're getting here, we're getting 13230 minus here we're getting 490. Okay? So the next thing will be to just multiply 3.142 over. Uh, 3.142 over 3, okay? Inside the brackets, when we, we subtract here, what are we getting? 
we are getting a one two seven four zero just like that the next thing will just be to multiply 3.142 multiplied by what is inside the bracket we're getting a four zero zero two uh, uh, nine point zero eight divide by three so when you divide by three your final answer will be one three uh, three four three point zero two six six seven centimeter centimeter cubed so this is our our solution right here so the other method will be to use this formula so it's a1 plus a2 plus square root of a1 multiplied by a2 there and h outside here so what is our a1 a1 will be the area of the base this base here so this is a, a circle so you just say pi r squared so what is our pi 3.142 times our radius which is the 21 squared so when you solve here you are getting a 1385.622 and our area 2 will be the area on top here so we'll do the same here pi r squared what is our pi is what i've written here and our r is 7 squared the radius of the top same circle okay so when we solve our answer will just be 1 5 3.958 okay so now since we have a1 and a2 we can plug them in our formula so we'll say volume is equal to 1 over 3 uh, here we are putting this our a1 plus our a2 plus the square root let me put it here the square root over a1 which is uh, right here so this is what we are getting here yes times uh, h our h is the height from here to here it's 20 okay so now let me get my calculator and try to punch this so we've got uh we've got uh, one let me start with the brackets so this is uh, one uh, sorry one one over three multiplied by here one three eight five point six two two plus one five three point nine five eight plus the square root the square root i'll put the brackets here so once i put the square root i'll put this actually this is multiplication it's not it's not plus here it's times so i'll put this and this so it will be one three eight five point six two two times one five three point nine five eight so it's inside the brackets again i'll show this bracket right here even say times 20 and see the answer that i'm getting you see i'm getting the same answer which is uh one three three four three point zero two six six seven centimeter cubed so also this method works and i find i find this one to be very easier and very fast all what you need to do on this one is to find the area of the base and the area there on top here so you name this as area a this one area so area sorry you name this as area one this one area two and then you come and plug them okay here you plug them and solve you find that your answer will be this one thank you so much for watching kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and um, to those who would like to do online tuitions as usual the number you can whatsapp for online tuitions is right here
this is a number to whatsapp me on okay